we've got the bow tie passed in here, and it's just going to be a matter of kind of adding everything in. I'm going to cut some green onions, uh, green pepper, and some celery. And this is, you know, I like these little mayonnaise-based salads. Um, this is one where whenever you have sort of the kind of general idea of a, a salad like this, you could change it. And if you wanted to use fresh crab meat, that's fine. If you didn't want to use the shrimp and wanted to use all crab meat, that's fine. If you didn't want celery, you want to put something else in, that's fine. You know, it's one of these where you can go ahead and use your own flavorings and your own um, ingredients. If you like a little bit more green pepper, or if you wanted to put red pepper in there. All right, I think I'm gonna, we're gonna try to put this all in this bowl and see what happens. Always an adventure. And I think this also could be really good, this salad can be really good with um, chicken and not do the, the shrimp or the, the crab with it, but just do the do chicken. Of course, we talked all about chicken salad last week, so we're not gonna, we're chicken salad out. Although that was some good chicken salad, I must say. I didn't have to do as much chopping this week. That was a good thing. I'll wait till we do the vegetable one at the end of the month, depending on what we're gonna do. And we have to start thinking about um, next week's class. You can throw out some ideas of um, some food that starts with F. What is it? Uh, no. I, I can guarantee that we're not going to be doing frog legs. I've seen them down in the sea, they have them in the seafood case, and it's like, I don't even like the look of them, you know? <laughs> they look, you know, they, they almost look like they're jumping. Oh, uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I didn't, I didn't even think of that. How about what? Figs, yeah, we we did the we did the frittata for eggs, but we could do another one. <laughs> I was thinking fettuccine, figs would be good. I don't know if we ha I don't believe we have fresh figs, but um, feta, that'd be good. Oh yeah, French toast would be good. Wow, there's lots of things. Fajitas, that'd be good. Oh, that's gonna be tough to get it all narrowed down then. Yeah, I just know we're not going to have frog legs. So if that's what you're coming for next week, <laughs> no frog legs. <laughs> Do what? Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, when I say when I talk on Monday on David Light show, he always you know remarks about how I can always find all the ingredients at Food City and you know so I don't know if we can do daiquiris or not. <laughs> Brent, you know there's there's a whole bunch of things. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, we've got our um, uh, green pepper and a green onion and our celery in here. Um, we're going to chop some of the... I'm going to chop the... Uh, shrimp just to kind of spread it out a little bit so the first 10 people don't get a piece of shrimp and then everybody else. I oh, know, I know. I could have tossed it out. Anyway, so if you wanted to, um, also I chose, this is, um, you know, shrimp goes by, the, num the count of shrimp is the number of shrimp in a pound. And I think this might have been 
41.50. No. Yeah, maybe. No, maybe 26. Because that was this is about half a pound. And you could use if you if you didn't want to buy this and chop it up because it would be kind of big in the salad, is to get the little salad shrimp. That's a little bit smaller. And our um, imitation crab. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have put the lid on this. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. And chop this up. Because this really is big pieces. Okay. So there's all our ingredients. Now we can. Now the shrimp was cooked. Does it say uncooked? <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's there's one. You know that that brings out a good point. Um, not necessarily in a cold salad because of course you'd want to have it cooked. But in um, if you were doing a hot meal. Um, and it calls for uncooked shrimp. I personally do not like the taste of uncooked shrimp cooked in with pasta and all that. It's, to me, it always tastes fishy. So in order to alleviate that, you would cook your pasta or whatever you have going on and then add the cooked shrimp at the end and only heat it enough to heat the shrimp through. You know, don't go, okay, let's cook it for like 12 hours. So we've got a, a, a cup and a third of mayonnaise we're going to put in. And I just use the regular mayonnaise. If you feel the need to use the light, that's fine. I've got some dill pickle relish in here, a little Dijon mustard, just some little flavors pulling together. And here is some salt and pepper and dill. And that's sort of our dressing that goes with this. Easy. Okay, this is gonna be the hard part. Nail it like that. Okay. These bowls are heavy. Okay. I will have it all over. So we will just mix it up like this. Not the best way, but, well, actually, I think it is the best way. What? Yeah, did you? <laughs> As you're looking at the bowl going, she's not going to be able to stir that. I know it. This is just fun. <laughs> Our bow tie seafood salad. And like I said, you can, oops, you can, um, if you don't want, ooh, if you don't want to use the crab meat, you found out what's in it. Um, you can just use all shrimp, um, or you could, if you find out what's in it, well, that's really good. Use all crab meat. You know, um, I think this would really even be good with chicken. You know, so anyway, there's a, and, and it's a, a nice, colorful thing. Nice, cool. We're still singing summer. It's still eighty thousand degrees out and all that. So. Yeah.